arm wrestling, brother. I want to catch up and, and learn all the, the your guys' top athletes and all. And I know you guys got a, a big tournament coming up. Uh, I believe it's in, uh, what is it, like nine days or something? Yeah, man, nine days. Nine days. Tell me a little bit. What, what's the name of it? Who's throwing it? And what, what's going on? All right. It's been thrown by the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation. They're the same people who brought Devon out here and – um, Ron Bath and generally runs the big tournament that we have at Arnold's and our nationals and our states. They're kind of the, the premier arm wrestling federation in Australia. It's run by a guy called Phil Rasmussen. And Phil Rasmussen, he's, a, he's an eccentric sort of dude. So he had this idea with his sponsors to do a over-the-top 2.0. So... The, the venue, we're at Star Casino and, and the Gold Coast, which is one of our biggest casinos in the country. And we've got Perspect tables. Not, we don't have the round ones like they do in the, um, like the round elbow pads like they have in the, in the movie. But we have Perspect tables. We're going to have four tables running on a, I think I'm pretty sure it's an arena that's 360 degrees. We're going to run four tables. Um, we are running all the weight classes and all that as well. But the main thing is the right-hand open division. We're all competing for $10,000 um, for the win, three grand for um, second, and I think 500 bucks, I think, for third, something or $1,000 for third. Um, so, you know, and that final match will be center table, all the lights happening. It, it is the biggest production that we've had in Australia, the biggest prize money. Uh, we've got the big... Uh, we don't have a big Mack truck, but we've got Volvo bringing in one of their, their biggest freight liners come in just to set the scene. And, like, we've gone big on this one. So we're all really excited for it. Um, the top athletes, well, we've got big Mate Warangi Hatamaris. He's the, the big guy from New Zealand with the, the face tattoo. I think they call it a moko. Um, that's, who I've been, that's who I've been wanting to hear about, brother, is, is that guy. Um, yeah, man. Is he, is he, so have you gripped up with him? What's your guy's record? Yeah. Okay. So I pulled him three years ago when I was still a, still a bubba. Um, and he got the win, which was cool um, and expected. He's since gone on to break the New Zealand Raw bench press record. So he benches about 265. Uh, I think that was the record, 265 kilos. So that's 585. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Strong dude. Strong Corey dude. Westland um, right there. Yeah, man. So he's been arm wrestling for 10 years or more. Uh, just It might be 12 years, might be something like that. Uh, but he's 10-time New Zealand champ, four-time Oceania champ, which is what we're competing for. Um, I've obviously won the number one spot in Australia. I've won Oceania left-handed, and I've beaten him left-handed, but he's predominantly right. Um, so he's who where I'm really excited about the pull. I've got some some redemption to to get back there. Um, he's a really very kind man. He's an awesome guy to compete against. Um, certainly be looking forward to spending some time with him after the match too. He's a really good dude. Um, so the other pair we got the milk. How far is um, New Zealand from you guys? Like it's like a four or five hour flight, I think. Yeah, so it's not far. Not so far. Do you, but do you guys get to see each other a lot? Like, are you guys in a lot of the same tournaments or no, this is no, not the first I would, time? I would only see him once a year at Arnold's okay. where we'd have our big Oceania, yeah. Um, it's obviously a big expense for him to fly over, hotel, recover, eat, you know, all that sort of stuff. So uh, he's got kids back home too, so he doesn't like to, to leave them that often, which I understand. But um yeah, but he's been pretty regular coming to Australia. Um, but we haven't seen him since COVID. Wow. Okay. So it'll be like awesome. Like a bird to... getting out of his cage, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we're hoping that's going to be that's going to be awesome. Um, people confirmed we've got Ryan Scott. I do believe he's back in form. I think when the match that uh, he and I were scheduled to have that didn't end up happening, I don't think he was in the same form that he had than he was when he was number one in the country. Um, so I think we're seeing a little bit of a return to form for him. So we're really excited about that. 
<coughs> what weight class is Ryan in? Uh, these are all super heavyweights. Super. Okay, so what what is Ryan ranked today? What, what your first off, you're number one, correct, with the right hand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then so Ryan's number two. He's the guy. Ryan, no, because Ryan Ryan Bowen beat him. Ah, okay. So I flew over, and then while I was on the plane, the government changed, like the state government changed the the laws. And they sent me back home. I didn't get to compete. Where Ryan Bowen arrived the day before yeah. and he was fine. So he competed in his stead. And it was like, okay, Ryan Bowen beat Ryan Scott. I beat Ryan Bowen. Yeah. Arm, re- arm wrestling math going down. Okay. Yeah, arm wrestling math. So it's like, I'm still keen. I've always said this. When I want that number one spot, I go, you haven't really won it until you've defended it. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I'm at. That's kind of the, the pressure that I've put on myself going into the, over the top. It's like, cool, I'm number one. Now I have to defend it. So it's, you know, I've got to put that respect on it, right? <laughs> the target's on your back, though, bro. They're all coming. Yeah, yeah me, that's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> let me ask you, uh, give me an idea. Like, uh, how many people do you expect at this uh, term? I'm just trying to get a, a sense of how many arm wrestlers are in Australia and what the arm wrestling scene looks like in Australia right now. Yeah, there, there's a couple hundred arm wrestlers in Australia. Um, super heavyweight division. It, look, it's not the most stacked. The guys at the top, uh, say, for instance, we've got number one, two, and three. We're kind of up here. And I would probably start putting four, five, and, and six kind of a lot further down. There's a big gap between the top guys and the middle rank guys. Um, so who's on your radar? Who do you, who are you a little like, all right, I got to watch this guy. Yeah. Okay. So obviously Mate, uh, Ryan Scott, if Ben Carroll comes over and competes, he did incredibly well at Zlotting in 2019. Then he's always someone to watch. Um, Mario Tambakis. That's have to man. watch. Him. I like Mario, bro. Hell yeah. yeah! I've got the. I haven't lost to him in a long, long time. Okay. But the reason I haven't lost to him for a long, long time is I respect his ability, and I'm always, I'm always watching. I'm always. I don't let him get away with nothing. So, um, look, he's only young too. So, he's another one of those where he's in his twenties. He's partying. He's having fun. I think once he hits his late twenties and like early, early thirties, like I am, and really wants to take shit serious, we're going to see a huge spike from him. Wow. You know, I, I look at Mario and I go, my knees at number one and number. So. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So he's someone with a lot of potential. He just has to harness it, but he's in his early twenties. It's like, just let him, you know, let him, let him be 20. Yeah. Um, so all my subscribers, if you haven't already go check him out, Mario Tambakis, uh, Mario, if you guys, uh, Remember correctly, he came out of Washington State. Um, he came out here and uh, he did very well. He beat a bunch of big names, got some some pretty big uh, wins that day, and uh, he definitely got on my radar that day. I was very impressed. And uh, his other guy, uh, the other Australian, uh, Lachlan Carpenter, Carpenter, right? Yeah. He's another guy, bro. Really, really great guy, bro. You guys got a really strong arm wrestlers coming up, and uh, you yeah, know, man. I definitely I, I want to get more into the Australian. Australian scene and start learning more about you guys and all that. Mm, yeah, no, we've, we've definitely got some up and comers. That the sport is growing massively in the sport and uh, sorry, in the country. And yeah, it's uh, exciting times. So, what what's the exact date of that? Uh, of, over the thirtieth of April. Okay, okay. So it's, mm. it's the same day as the the John Brzezink uh, Pavlo match. Yeah, which is interesting. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to we're going to watch that. Where where can we watch it? Is there going to be a live feed or anything like that that we could uh, take a look at that? Yeah, I think there'll be a live feed. Um, I'll, I'll have to post the details. I'll send them to you. And um, but yeah, we're doing I forget what company they're doing it through. They are doing it through a streaming country that uh, company that we've used before. Um, I hope it's open to like regional, like it's not regionally locked. I hope it's going to be an international viewing platform. So uh, that'd be really cool if it is. So. Oh, yeah. I, heard, I did hear another thing about that event. Um, is it true that, uh, is Larry Wheels making an appearance there? Is yeah, it- yeah, yeah. Yeah, Larry Wheels is coming. I don't know if he's coming and he's competing for the 10 grand. Um, 
and see why not. I mean, I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, I don't think he's just coming to hang out, and you know, what I mean, I'm no. pretty sure he's going there for the money. Hell yeah, yeah, man. What, what, is, what would happen, man? Like, what do you what do you expect? Have you ever have you met Larry in person yet? No, I've not met him in person. I look, what I think is going to happen. I think. I think it's going to be seated by weight first, right? So we're not going to see Martin and I go up against each other. There's a, a 50, 60, yeah, 50 or 60 kilo difference between us, right? So I don't think there's going to be, um, we're not going to be going off first. And Larry's like 130 kilos, which is well, like, what is it, 290, 300, something like that? Wow, he is that much. I didn't know he was that much. Yeah, he's heavy, man. He's heavy. Oh, at least 125 to 130 kilos. I think that's where he, he sits. So that's, yeah, that's pushing 300. Um, Ripped with abs. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a tank. And to be honest with the people that he's going to see between myself and Mate and, and Ryan Scott, Ryan Scott being known for having a very strong hand, Unfortunately for Larry, I don't think he's going to do very well at all. Yeah. Just saying. I think I think we're probably underestimated here, and that's maybe why he's coming. But I think he's going to realize we're no we're no slouches down here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got to get more Australians coming to the to the states, man. We got to get more act going with that you know i'd love to yeah, see like man. more marios out here more we'll get mate out here get uh yeah. brian scott like yeah dude we got to get this going man definitely want to yeah. want to get Ma mate b i'd love to see him mix it up in the super heavyweights in the in the u.s oh yeah yeah i dude. think he would do extremely well what was what was his weight at these days he is Probably in pounds. Let me look it up so I don't mess it up. It's gonna be. He's around like six one, six two. I think you said before, right? Yeah, it's about my. So he's about three seventy five. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah man, boy. he's a big boy. Yeah, yeah, he's about the same height as me. I uh, see about six one.